Over the next three days and two nights, I am going to be crossing off one of my biggest bucket list items, sailing around Komodo Island. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking a little bit. The chaos has begun. <laughs> this is a water explosion. It's just water. <laughs> Are you sure? Everyone, this is Zia and this is Mana. This is the Komodo squad. I can't get over how nice the airports are here and the food is not even real airport food like we got this deliciousness I don't know what half this stuff is <laughs> like what what is this none of its labels so it's just a mystery <laughs> so the first part of this trip is to board a one-hour flight to Labuan ba Bajo I think and one thing about apparently about Indonesian travel is that it's usually pretty late so the time is quite loose so we've been sitting here for about an hour just chilling, but I think we're boarding now. I just realized how horribly I, I pronounced it, so I need to go back. What is it? Labuan Baju? Baju, yeah, exactly. Okay. I keep trying to say Bajo because it's just in, in Mexico. Just like a Spanish pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I Baju. So American. I go Bajo. <laughs> Labuan Bajo. <laughs> Welcome. We're at our hostel. Siesta. <laughs> Did he even see me? Today's the day. Our driver is here. This hostel's been amazing. Amazing food, great views, pool, gym. Definitely recommend. But we're heading out. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. I'm super excited. Here we go. Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Minibus. <laughs> yeah, minibus. Hi. Hello. Nice and cramped in here. I feel like I'm going to school. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> yep, already hit my head. Oh my. We've got a couple vloggers on board. <laughs> Final leg of the trip is we take a little dinghy to our home for the next three days, which is on the water. <laughs> I think so. Let's go. <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> Hello. 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 And there is our luggage, safe and sound. Okay, we are officially on our way. I am so excited. We're heading to a few snorkel spots today. Hopefully it's not too loud. We just got our fins fitted and then a really cool spot for sunset. Let me show you our room real quick. We are definitely on the budget ship. So this is what about 2.5 million will get you. Hello everyone, I'm coming in. Here is our room. We've already moved all our stuff in. We've got two bunk beds. They're probably about like a full size each. And yeah, this is the girls room. Got everything we need. Got some windows. We got an AC unit, very important. And we got some outlets, so everything you need. Okay, we're at our first stop, Kelar Island. The water is so blue. Oh my God. This is amazing. I cannot wait to get in this water. Also, we haven't introduced our photographer, videographer for the weekend. This is Fibs. Fibs. Fabian. Or Fibs. Give him a nickname before we even met him, but Fabian is gonna help us capture some sick content this weekend. I'm freaking out. If this is how the weekend's gonna go, it's gonna be like the best weekend of my life, I think. Freaking out! Oh, look at that big coral like. Oh. It's insane how clear it is. That's deep. That's, That's super deep. deep. That's deep yeah. You can see straight to the bottom. It's Ooh. so turquoise. I've been on this trip for an hour. My mind is already blown. This is literally the most insane view ever. The clarity of the water 
and the color is insane. And we're about to go swimming and snorkeling in it. So let's go. I know, like I don't ever want to leave with the perfect yeah, temperature. Yeah. No here. one's here, literally no one's here. This is, oh. this is gonna be a very memorable weekend. Oh yeah. <laughs> We just finished such an amazing day of snorkeling at two of the most amazing reefs I've ever seen. The amount of fish and the colors was so insane. I've never been on a reef with so many fish. We're like swimming through schools of them right now. Holy crap. I can't believe this is only day one. It's gonna get even better from here. So currently we are sailing to our sunset spot for the evening. Hopefully we're gonna see a bunch of bats. Apparently there's like big flocks of bats, bats that go through during sunset, so should be nice, but I'm reading my book now. I'm just enjoying the view. You smelled correctly. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Is that cheese? No, it's yeah. coconut. Are you sure? No. no it's cheese. I think it's, it's cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah, it's cheese. Interesting. Banana with cheese, that's a new one. <laughs> Interesting combination, but I, I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Life is good. Okay, life is insane right now. <laughs> the sun is starting to go down. The golden light is happening. I like magical. I can't believe this is our life right now. Like what? I'm so shook. Look how gorgeous Mana looks. I, I can't get over it. And no, come, come look at Zia. Absolute majestic queen. Yes. And then we have our boy, babes. Hard at work. This is so incredible. We're all waiting for the bats to come out. The flying foxes. So are all these boats. So every night all the flying foxes come out of here. So now we're just waiting. on a little dinghy, ready to go up. I don't know if you guys can see me, but we are walking to the top. It's 815 steps, and we're basically racing to get there, trying to beat those crowds. I can't with the sunrise right now. Okay, we're officially at the top. We're just waiting for the sun to rise now, but it's already so stunning. Like it's one of those places you see online and you just can't believe that it exists in nature. And then you get here. I mean, I've been dreaming of being here in real life for years. There's already a good amount of people here, but I don't even care at this point. I'm just happy to be here. The sun, oh my God, <laughs> the sun is rising. I'm still in shock that I am in the place that I've always dreamed of coming. It's insanely beautiful. Definitely lots of crowds, so I do recommend coming early. And also because it's really hot to walk up this, so the earlier the better. And if you can come on a weekday, even better. I think it's just, it's a Friday, so pretty crowded, but honestly, it doesn't even really matter. It's so magical. I'm so beyond grateful to be here. Why does the 
sand like feels so soft. Okay, so we are on Pink Beach right now. Hence the name. The sand has a little pink hinge to it. Nothing insane, honestly. Being here for two seconds, the main thing that I am kind of freaking out about is how clear, like absolutely crystal clear this water is. So blue, so clear. best hour i wish we had longer at pink beach snorkeling seriously some of the most incredible snorkeling of my life and now we have a coconut to finish things off it's only like 10 30 in the morning we've had such a full day and now we're gonna go see the star of the show the name of this video komodo dragons komodo national park for uh, two minutes and we've seen our first one at the very entrance the deers are not shy. All right, well, that was quite some welcome to Komodo National Park. Here we are at the sign, and I'm surrounded by a Komodo dragon and two deer on the beach. Yeah. Okay, we just started our track, and there's a Komodo right here. So apparently, this one is about three years old. So we're keeping our distance because apparently what they do is they're kind of just chilling. They look like a rock. They look like they have no energy, and then they'll just lunch so that's why you have to go on this trek with a guide and they carry like a stick and they're kind of trained if one were to attack it is really rare but definitely don't do this by yourself oh my god we just came on it's massive oh my it's god so big oh my god oh my oh my god it's so big are you okay? Okay, now I see how they can kill deer and wild boar and very occasionally humans. Like that thing was a monster. Are you doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to take a picture and we're down there and Fabian's up there gonna take a photo of us and the second we crouch, the thing starts moving and everyone starts running. <laughs> Oh, I'm shaking a little bit. A little it's okay. bit. That it's thing okay. was like a dinosaur. Yeah. Did you like see it was help. drooling? Yeah. It was drooling. Yeah. But it was big and I thought, okay, they already had a meal. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pig. Oh, it's a boar. Those are food of Komodos here, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, we've been sailing for about the last two hours and next on the agenda is we are going to try and find some manta rays to swim with. I really hope this happens because I've always wanted to swim with a manta ray. I've never seen one in the wild. So we're heading right over there to do some snorkeling and I'm super excited. Wow! <laughs> yes! I got more! <laughs> oh, this is so good. Ever. This is, what, a banana pancake and cheese. Mm. Oh my god. Thank you for requesting more. Yeah. Holy shit. It's watercolor! It's so clear! How is it so clear? Okay guys, change of plans did you hear? So the current's too strong, so we're basically gonna just go hang out on the beach and we're gonna sleep like right there and we're gonna come here first thing in the morning and look for mana. So we'll be like the first oh. ones. Perfect. Yeah, actually, I think that's that a perfect plan. Because it's, it's gonna be sunset in like an hour anyways, and the clarity of the water is also not as good because it's not as sunny. So I'm, I'm down to, to find the manas first thing in the morning. Hopefully. The manas, the manas baby. The manas. <laughs>
our last day on this boat. I cannot believe that we're already on day three. I'm honestly really, really, and I'm not just saying this, I am genuinely thinking about becoming a hashtag boat girl, doing boat life. When I get back, I am going to look into potentially doing like a two or three week boating expedition because I really love waking up on this boat every morning, drinking my coffee, looking at the clear blue water. And there's just so much marine life that you get access to out here. Oh my gosh. There's so many. It's so much amazing remote nature. It's just incredible. So like this video, comment down below if you think I should do that for a little bit. I think it'd be a really fun YouTube series. But anyways, the only piece of bad news that has happened on this trip happened this morning. We are not going to be able to swim with manta rays. They went out and looked all morning on the dinghy boat, just could not find any anywhere. So instead, we are going to try and find a bunch of turtles. There is like a turtle what do they call it? I think they called it a turtle net. What do they call it? Like a turtle, turtle nation or something like that? I don't know. But apparently there's like a, an area where there's lots of sea turtles swimming all around. So pretty much we're just going to be snorkeling all morning, trying to find some sea turtles and then heading back to the airport and flying back to Bali for a little bit. So let's see what the day brings. This is crazy. This is the best we've seen yet. It's so beautiful. I know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wish I could do this every single day. This is so incredible. Okay, so we've been sailing for the last hour and a half. We're now at Kanawa Island. It's so freaking beautiful. Apparently this is a romantic little getaway that people come on sometimes to this very remote island. And we're just gonna hang out here, grab a coconut, swim in the water. And I think this is our last stop before we head back to Bali. So soaking it up while we can. Is it brown or a green one? What do you think? That one? I feel good? Oh, I feel good. It's just uh, full tasty. Oh yeah. Sexy. <laughs> sexy, sexy coconut. All right, I'll go with the sexy coconut. Sexy coconut. This is crazy. Look at this. Wow. This life is so hard. <laughs> Just saying to Mana, I thought Pink Beach was the clearest water I've ever seen. But like, are you kidding? And I think here, like the actual scenery is even more impressive. Oh my gosh, we're just surrounded by layers of mountains and all these shades of blue. Yeah, this is like a totally remote island, but you can stay here. Like the only things here are a place to buy coconuts, a little dock where you can put boats, and then a few small little cabanas. Like how perfect to so come here perfect. for like a little getaway. finally heading back to the mainland and I'm just still 
so in shock that this bucket list trip that I've wanted to go on since I was in college was truly everything I dreamed of and more. I'm just so, so grateful to be here, to be able to have these experiences right now. And I'm having so much fun bringing you guys along for the journey. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming on this incredible trip with me. And I hope that you go on it someday. I'm heading into my second week in this amazing country and I'm super excited to be hosting my group trip literally starting tomorrow so everyone that's coming is arriving today or tomorrow and I'm heading back to Bali tonight to go and meet up with everyone so I'm so excited for that and to share kind of the experience with you because I've never done a group trip before so this should be really really cool but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching this video and for supporting me. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!